Hi, and welcome to Tallahassee, Florida, and Week 3 AEFL Game of the Week, the Nevada Blackjacks at the Florida Whales. As you look at the standings, you'll see this game is important to both teams. The Whales are trying to stay unbeaten and keep pace with the Ohio Comets in the East. Nevada, meanwhile, is right in the mix in the West, even though they came off a bad loss against Texas in Week 2. Through two games, these two teams have given up the least average amount of points per game. It'll be interesting to see how those defenses stack up in this game. The Whales are six-point favorites in this game, and we're just about ready for kickoff. Florida will be receiving the kick, as all the AEFL home teams do to begin the game. The kick by Jonas Smith for the Blackjacks is away. But it curves and hits the numbers before it hits the end zone. That's a penalty against Nevada. That's going to give the Whales possession way up at their own 40-yard line. First and 10 for Florida from their own 40-yard line. Niles Grant behind center. He's number 14, the quarterback for the Whales. Zeke Adams, tailback, number 28 behind him. Here's the first down snap. Play two of the first quarter. Grant looking to throw on first down. Immediate pressure. Hit by Bonacisi. There's the pass timer. He's hit but not sacked yet. We run the board again. And Bonacisi will drop Grant for the sack. Second and 15 for Florida. Third play of the first quarter. No score. Grant with the snap. He'll look to throw again. Solid protection for Grant this time. There's the timer. Blackjacks with good defense downfield. Looks like Grant has something short to his tight end, number 10, uh, Landry, underneath. Landry going for the ball at the 47-yard line and swerves and misses it badly. That was an egregious miss by Landry, and honestly, with those Blackjacks around, they're lucky it wasn't picked off. That incompletion will bring up a third and 15 for Florida from their 35. Just a quick note, that last play was spotted incorrectly. The last play should have been run from the 35-yard line where it's spotted now. Instead, it was run from the 40-yard line. That's been corrected. So third and 15 for the Wales as we move to play four of the first quarter. Here's a snap. Grant will look to throw. And Bonacisi hits him again, comes in, and gets his second sack of the day. Two on this series. Blackjacks with an outstanding opening defensive series. Two sacks and forcing this punt on fourth down. Here's a snap. Ball on base, hits a 20 yard mark downfield. We look back at the target ball, that's clean, so the punt is officially away. We will run the board for another three seconds maximum. The punt travels across the 45 at the 40-yard line. The gutter, Mason Randolph, touches it. That will not count as interference. That will instead be downed at the 40-yard line. So Nevada takes over on play six of the first quarter at their own 40-yard line. First and 10, no score. Mason Cross, the quarterback, number five. Blackjacks and an RPO. Here's a snap. Cross will look to get to the 39-yard line for an opportunity to throw. Gets hit by Biggs, but gets away. Gets to the 39. He's got 21. Waylon Irving is open inside the 40-yard line of the Wales. Irving grabs the pass at the 32. Irving behind the defense and coast into the end zone. Touchdown for the Blackjacks. A 60-yard strike for Nevada and a 6-0 lead. Jonas Smith for Nevada on the try, the point after. Kick is away, and it is good. 7-0 Nevada as we move on to play 7 of an 8-play first quarter. First and 10 for the Wales from their 25-yard line. Their first drive went nowhere. Actually, that's incorrect. It did go somewhere. It went backwards. Grant with a first down snap. Grant looking to pass. Great protection. There's the timer. Looks like he's got Rolando McVay. Number two, open in the middle of the field. Across the 42. McVay trying to catch that pass across the 45. Misses it and Martinez is there. 
picks it off. Santana Martinez, 87 with the interception. Brought down by McVay at the 45. Tell you, Grant got away with one earlier when his tight end missed a pass in traffic, but not this time. The linebacker gets the INT, and Nevada is set up at the 45-yard line of Florida. Last play of the first quarter. Blackjacks already up 7-0. Now, after the turnover, they have the ball at the 45-yard line of Florida. First and 10. Here's the first down snap. And the give is to the rookie tailback, Orlando Moore. Moore, up the middle. Gets behind a convoy of blockers. They clear a big lane. He's inside the 30. And it looks like he's gone. 45 yards, Orlando Moore. His first touchdown this year. The first of his career. Jonas Smith on to try the point after. And, uh, oh, he's hooking this. He is going to hook this badly. And the lead will remain 13-0. And that will end the first quarter. The Nevada Blackjacks have really dominated the day on offense and defense as we begin the second quarter. They're up 13-0. Florida with a first and 10 from the 25. The give is to Zeke Adams as they try to get the running game going. Nothing doing as he's pushed back a yard from initial contact. Martinez and Bonacici on the stop. They're going to give Adams forward progress up to the 22-yard line. Second down and 13. Loss of three on that play. Play two of the second quarter. Florida down 13-0. Second and 13 from their own 22-yard line. Here's the snap. Grant the pass. There's the timer. Nixon tries to put pressure on Grant but misses. He looks downfield. He's got Randolph wide open on the other side of the field across the 50. Boy, Florida needs this pass in the worst way. Nobody close to Mason Randolph as he goes for the ball at the 45 and catches it inside the 40 and goes out of bounds at about the 36. We'll call it the 35-yard line of the Nevada Blackjacks. That 40-yard reception sets the Whales up at the 35-yard line of the Blackjacks. First and 10. That last play was the first positive offensive play Florida has had in this game so far. And here's the first down snap. The give is to Adams, looking to find some room up the middle. Hit by Jones. Breaks the tackle. Gets inside the 20. And he's curving hard to the far side of the field. It looks like they'll mark him out at about the 10-yard line. Play four of the second quarter. Wales down by 13. Here's the snap. Grant the throw. Oh, pressure from Kenny Thomas. Hits him as the timer goes off. And will run the board again. And Thomas slides off of Grant without sacking him. Grant can throw. He's got Rolando McVeigh at the goal line on a slight comeback. McVeigh wide open in the middle of the field at the goal line. McVay going for the ball at the two-yard line. He's got it. All he's got to do is pivot upfield and travel less than a quarter of an inch. And there he is. Touchdown. Florida's on the board. That score brings this crowd to life as Eduardo Ruiz looks to make this a six-point game. And the kick is away. And it is just good. 13-7. Nevada still leads, but the Whales make this a ball game. We move on to play five of the second quarter. First and ten from the 25-yard line for the Blackjacks. Here's a snap. Orlando Moore with the carry. Runs immediately into Johnson and Nix. Turned and dropped for a loss of a yard. That's second and 11 for the Jacks. The Whales defensive line did a nice job controlling the line of scrimmage on that play. Here's the second down snap for Nevada. Blackjack staying on the ground. Another give to Moore. He's got some room this time. Across the 40. Cutting hard to the near side of the field. And running out of bounds at the 45-yard line into Whale territory. Two plays left in the half. And after a 30-yard gain, the Blackjack's on the move again. First and 10 from the 45. Here's the first down snap. The give is to Moore. Plunges into a crowd. Finds a hole, breaks across the 30-yard line inside the 25. And he'll turn on his own at about the 23-yard line. Another big run for Orlando Moore. 
That's 22 yards in that last carry, and Moore is up near 100. We're on the last play of the first half. Nevada well within field goal range here at the 23, but they're looking for six. Cross takes the snap, and he will look to throw. Biggs, 62, bringing pressure, hits Cross. Timer goes off. And Biggs broke contact with Cross as the timer went off. So Cross can throw. It is a pass under pressure. Look at Waylon Irving, 21, open in the end zone. Zeke Adams is back to defend, but Irving has him beat. And here's the pass, cross to Irving in the end zone. And oh, there is contact, and there's a flag. They're gonna throw the flag on this one. They're gonna throw it on Zeke Adams. Boy, that was close. We'll take another look at this on instant replay. And what you're gonna be looking for is the point at which contact was made was that greater than a base, right there, right there. Was that greater than a base length from the target ball? So just to be clear, that's one of the ways pass interference is defined in the AEFL. Defensive contact outside of a base length from the target ball. We'll look at it one more time, and this time we're going to freeze the instant replay at the point of contact and you'd measure from the center of the target ball to that point of contact. They're saying that was greater than the length of the base. And there it is frozen for you. And here's the referee's call. Pass interference, defense, number 28. The ball will be spotted at the one yard line. The half will be extended by one play. The crowd doesn't like it, but after the pass interference penalty, the Blackjacks will be set up at the one yard line of Florida. As the penalty happened on the last play of the half, the half will be extended by one play because the game or the half cannot end on a defensive penalty. Here's the snap. The give is to Moore. Moore tries to find room in the middle. Hit by Johnson. Push side of base. He's not down. He looks to find room in the outside and he will get into the end zone and that will be a touchdown for the Blackjacks. Brando Moore with his second touchdown here today, and he has just torn up the Florida defense in the first half of this game. The score is 19-7, and the Jacks going for two here to close out the half. Here's the snap. Cross the throw. And look at the protection he's getting as the timer goes off. Looking in the end zone, he's got 33. Elvis Serapo in the end zone, wide open. Looking for Serapo in the corner, and it is caught! That's a two-point conversion! The Jacks will head into the half up 21-7. The hometown fans in a surly mood here in Tallahassee. The Wales, who were favored by a six, are down by 14 at the half, facing an uphill battle. Let's catch up on some of the other scores around the league. Pennsylvania Bucks knocked by the Virginia Pirates 25-24. The Ohio Comets remained unbeaten by defeating the Arizona Flames 31-28. And you can see the ending of those last two games in the prior video. In a game that I did not film but wish I had, the Texas Tornadoes defeated the California Pacifics on an end-of-game field goal 24-21, kicked by new field goal kicker Alejandro Rojas, filling in for his injured brother Benito Rojas. The story behind Benito Rojas' injury is that he was damaged through improper storage and unfortunately it might be a retirement level injury I'll have to work with him and we'll just have to wait and see now let's return to our game in the second half Florida down two scores as we begin the second half they will be going for the onside kick they're going to try to get this ball back and get back into a football game that was frankly dominated by the Blackjacks for most of the first half here we go, this could be a pivotal moment. One yard closer to the receiving team than the kicking team. The crowd is on their feet. Here's the play, and Steve Wall comes away with a recovery for Florida. That wasn't even a contest, and Florida comes away with the first successful onside kick this season. After that onside kick recovery, the Wales start at the Blackjack 49 yard line. First and 10. 
Wales down, 21-7. Niles Grant with the first down snap. He's looking to throw. There's the timer, he's got great protection. Grant has Gil Landry open downfield at the 20. Landry finds a soft spot in the zone, but it's still a dangerous throw. Landry looking to make a catch at the 15, he does! Landry inside the 15, Moore and Irving collide. Landry slides off of them, and he proceeds out of bounds on the far sideline, inside the 10. He will be marked out at the seven yard line at the first and goal for the Wales. That 42 yard pass play sets up Florida at the seven yard line. First and goal, play three of the third quarter. Here's the first down snap. Handoff to Zeke Adams. Here's Adams. Looking for room inside. Met at the seven yard line. Swarmed by the defensive line of Nevada and pushed back. He will be marked down at the seven. That's Tanner Jones, 64, and Rondé Banks, 51, in on the stop. The Black Jacks have been stout up front tonight. We go to play four midway through the third quarter. Wales down, 21-7, but they have a second and goal at the seven-yard line of the Black Jacks. And here's a second down snap. Grant looking to throw. Immediate pressure from Kenny Thomas. He slides off after contact with Grant as the pass timer goes off. So Grant's free to throw. Grant looks near side, but Randolph is covered over top by the safety. Looks the other way. He's got Gil Landry wide open at the goal line. Here's the pass to Landry. And that's a layup for the Wales. Touchdown. Florida right back in this one. The kick is away and already hooking very badly and missing by a mile. Boy, what is it with the extra points today? Well, regardless, it's a one-score game, 21-13 Nevada. Jacks with a first and 10 from their own 25-yard line. Play five of the third quarter. Black Jacks come out in the RPO look. Crowd is really revved up now. Mason Cross takes the first down snap. He's looking to get to the 24. If he gets there unengaged, he'll have a chance to throw. Cross gets to the 24, but he's hit by Julio Nix. He has to keep the ball. He breaks away from Nix. Crosses the 35, crosses the 40. He's crossing the 50, hit by Adams. And that slight nudge takes him out of bounds at the 49-yard line of the Wales. What a run by Mason Cross. Cross on the keeper, goes for 26 and a first down. Blackjacks on the move, up by a play six of the third quarter. Here's the snap. Cross looking to throw. Pierce applying pressure. Clips cross from the back, but cannot sack him. There's the pass timer. Geronimo Jackson, 82, double covered downfield on the far side. Looks like he's got Martinez underneath at the 40 yard line. Martinez will try for that ball at the 35. Martinez attracts a crowd as he's slow to get there. Adams picks it off. That is just outside the contested catch circle. And Zeke Adams will have an interception and a chance to return. Martinez hits him side of base. He's not down. Gets away from the tackle. Heads downfield. Inside the 50. Inside the 40. He's got a chance to score. Turning hard to the near side though. And it looks like he'll go out inside the 20. We'll mark him out at the 18. This place is going bananas now. The crowd can feel a momentum shift after that colossal interception by Zeke Adams. The Wales start inside their red zone, only down one score. Niles Grant takes the first down snap, and the give is to Zeke Adams. Hits the line, turn sideways, and immediately dropped by Tanner Jones for a two-yard loss. Second down and 12 now as we go to play eight, final play of the third quarter. Wales trail, 21-13. Here's the second down snap from the 20. The give to Adams again, looking for room inside. Jones is there, hits him again and drops him with an assist from Rondé Banks. Adams gets back to the original line of scrimmage on that play, but he has been penned in all day by that Nevada defense. Gaining only 22 yards. We move on to the fourth quarter. Blackjacks lead 21-13.
Wales have a third down and 10 at the 18 yard line of the Blackjacks. They've got an entire quarter of the play, but you have to think that this play coming up is pretty big for both teams. Here's the third down snap. Grant to throw. And Bonacisi comes in, sacks him for the third time. Nick Bonacisi with three sacks today. And you look at this front three. 68, Nick Bonacisi, 51. Rondé Banks in 64. Tanner Jones, they have absolutely controlled this game up front today. Eduardo Ruiz on to try the 33-yard field goal for Florida. Be honest. To have to settle for the field goal here when they started at the 18-yard line is a huge disappointment for Florida and a huge win for Nevada. Here's the 33-yard kick. It's away. It's curving. It's slicing sharply. And it's going to be missed. Oh, my goodness. They missed it. Ruiz misses this by a mile to the right, and what a disastrous outcome for the Wales. To start out at the 18-yard line and to come away with zero points, wow. They move on to play two of the fourth quarter. Nevada takes over at their own 23-yard line. Both teams have had their kicking troubles today, and that was an enormous miss for Florida. The Nevada sideline was all fired up after that miss. Their defense was amazing on that series and for most of the day. Mason Cross takes the snap. Handoff to Orlando Moore. Hit in the backfield by Biggs, not down. Redirects to the outside. Looks like he's gonna take it off tackle. Moore finds some room outside. Adams tries to hit him, misses. Collides with Martinez at the 30 and will be ridden out of bounds at about the 32. Moore with nine yards on that carry, made something out of nothing. Second down and one for the Blackjacks as we go to play three. Moore over 100 yards now in this game and two touchdowns. The rookie's been sensational. Here's the second down snap. They'll lean on Moore again. Hit immediately by Landry. He's not down yet. Fighting forward. Gets away. Across the 35. Across the 40. And he will go out of bounds on the far sideline up at the 45-yard line. That was a hard-fought 14-yard run. Moore has shown speed, balance, and power throughout this game. Nevada with a first and 10 at their own 46-yard line. Play four of the fourth quarter. The Jacks are showing an RPO look. Here's a snap. The decision line for Cross will be at the 45-yard line, whether he throws or runs. Here's Cross, makes it to the 45, clean of contact, looks downfield. Running wide open near the 30 is Serapo. Serapo behind the defense, going for that ball, the 25 gets it, and he runs inside the 15, out the 10 yard line on the far side of the field. After the 44 yard pass play, Nevada has a first and goal at the 10 of Florida. Already with an eight point lead, you'd have to think that with only four plays left to go, any score by Nevada pretty much seals the game. The Jacks stay in the RPO look on first and goal. Here's the snap. Cross, looking to get to the 11. Runs into his own man. Slides past the 11. Looks to throw. Doesn't have anyone open. Cross will tuck it and run. And he will stroll into the end zone. That's a touchdown. And that's just about going to do it. Jonas Smith on to try the extra point for Nevada. And it is away and good. The score is now 28-13. Nevada on top. We had to play six in the fourth quarter. And Florida has one shot to keep this game going, and that is they have to score a touchdown on this next play. First and 10 Wales from their own 25 yard line. Can Florida extend this game? They will have to go 75 yards in one play. Grant takes the snap. He's going to throw. Look at the pressure, and Bonacisi gets him again. Four sacks. Bonacisi turns him just as a timer goes off. Gets his fourth 
sack of the game. And how fitting this game ends just as it began with a sack by Nick. Nevada totally dominates the line of scrimmage today on both sides of the ball. Nevada upsets Florida in Tallahassee, 28 to 13. That's your final. We talked at the top of the broadcast how these were the two best defensive clubs coming into this game. And Nevada's defense really came to play today from the opening gun. And let's not forget Orlando Moore, the rookie, 120 yards rushing, two touchdowns. That's his second 100-yard game in a row. Overall, Nevada ran for 156 yards today. This game will leave Ohio as the sole unbeaten team going into week four. Florida will be traveling to Harrisburg next week for a second place showdown with the Pennsylvania Bucks. But I think the game that everyone here will be interested in really seeing is these Nevada Blackjacks traveling to Columbus to take on the unbeaten Ohio Comets. Thanks again for watching this presentation. Please comment, like, and subscribe.